international corporations are modifying our weather all the time, and they're modifying it in ways that cover thousands and thousands of square miles. Programs are impacting microclimates needed for our crops to survive and needed for pollination. The other issue is that a lot of times we're talking about mitigation for climate change. It's rather an undefined term at this period of time. And so what happens is that many times we're talking about artificially putting chemicals like sulfur or particulates into the atmosphere in what they call geoengineering schemes to reduce, supposedly, global warming. And if you take and you put up into our skies chemicals to reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth, you are going to begin to reduce crop production. Without the process of photosynthesis, whereby plants from direct sunlight gain the energy to grow, to produce crops, we are going to find ourselves, if we mitigate in that direction, impacting the crop production not only here in the United States, but worldwide. What you're seeing now, a lot of times, many scientists know, especially at NASA and in other areas, that the skies that we're seeing are not normal cloud formations. These are man-made. In California, the State Department of Health drinking water tests were examined between 1970 and this We've got year. This and dust, this haze in the air. Um, and all of these spikes at the, the same time. The sun is actually poking through right now, and it's and also in just as hot so as ever. And we have these as one example, it's into dust the clouds of, of trees, ammonium and it looks chloride. Like the trees are dying of drought, they're but trying they're not. to make it rain. Many of our forests in Redding, California, and other areas right are dying now. from warmer temperatures. Uh, later this evening, I was, also or tomorrow, and crop health. They know we had some overhead sprays a little while ago, that but we got this dust in the air the right now. I don't think you can see it. It's kind of dust coming down on us.